My name is Dinusha Mendes. I'm Professor of Intellectual Property and Innovation Law and Director of the Center for Intellectual Property Policy and Management at Bournemouth University. And I'm speaking today in my capacity as the project lead for the Open Norms Project, which is kindly funded by Knowledge Rights 21 and also as a co-author of this project. Um, so what was really important for us, the main task in our project was to really understand the use and adoption of fair use in the six jurisdictions um, and to understand the benefits and challenges, the motivations for introducing it, uh, the impact of the open norm exception in the creative sector, the research and education sector, the library sector, for example, and also its impact during the pandemic. Of course, in this knowledge capsule, I'm unable to go to all those aspects, but um, what I like to do and um, what I'd like to highlight now is some of our findings and conclusions from the project. So in looking at these countries, we divided them into three categories. We have on the one side, just USA as a common law jurisdiction, that's it. Apart from that, we uh, divided the rest of the countries into two other categories, one being hybrid countries, these being Canada, Israel, Singapore, and Sri Lanka. So they have a common law as well as a civil law mix. And then we also looked at pure civil law countries, and that was Japan and Korea. Uh, 